Hey guys, I'm Tree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna explain you how to use your Stream Deck as a soundboard. First thing you want to do, if you haven't already, is go to the Yagata website and download the software. I will leave a link underneath in the description. If you've downloaded it, start up the software. This is how it looks like. Well, there will be a little welcome message here, you can just delete that. And to use your Stream Deck as a soundboard, you need to make sure that you have the soundboard option open here. If this is not the case, you can open it by clicking on these stripes and then just tick, tick the little box next to it. So what you need to do is grab the play audio and drag it into one of the squares. You don't need the stop audio button because you can also stop the audio by pressing on the play button again. Next thing you want to do is select an audio file from your computer. Click on the three dots right here. Just select the one you want to use. You can use music or sounds. If you only want to start and stop your music with this button, it already works. You can just click on your Stream Deck and it will play. Click it again to stop it. You can add an image to it by just clicking on this icon twice. You can delete the title if you only want the image or set it to whatever you want. This bar will indicate the volume where you can turn it up or down. If you want the audio to loop, click on this button and click on loop stop, which means that if you click on it, it will automatically loop if it's done, but you need to stop it by clicking on the button again. You can also have a play restart button. This will restart the music from the start when you click on it the second time. You can also let the audio run multiple times. I don't really recommend this. If you do this, make sure to drag in a stop button anyway. This happens if you click on it multiple times. That's why you need a stop button for this one. If you want to delete any button, just click on it, press the delete button and click on delete. You can drag in as many audio buttons as you want. If you don't have space anymore, just create a folder. What do you want the next Stream Deck tutorial to be about? Leave a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tick the little bell icon and I will see you in the next video.